What is up, Cratics? In this video, we'll be talking about this week's double money event week as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for March 25th through March 31st, 2021. The current casino podium vehicle is the Pegasi Osiris. This vehicle was actually on the podium about three months ago, so I'm not sure why Rockstar is putting it again on the podium so soon, but anyways, the overall design of the Osiris is primarily based on the Pagani Huayra. It released about six years ago with the Ogon Gains update and normally costs about two million dollars. This vehicle is in the supercar class and is a quick car around most tracks. However, it's not even close to the top supercars these days like the Emirates and the Krieger, as to be expected with a car this old. The Osiris is a very fun car to drive, however, and race with, because it's super stable on bumpy roads. It's by far the easiest supercar to control in the class, in my opinion, because of how stable it is. Although the customization is pretty average for this car, as you can imagine, again, it is about six years old, so that's to be expected. But anyways, for those of you who originally paid full price for the Osiris and are not happy about it being on the podium, you can still take the one you originally purchased and sell it for about 1.3 million, depending on your upgrades and how much you paid for it originally. So is the Osiris worth attempting to win by spinning the lucky wheel over and over this week? Well, if you didn't win it when it was on the podium back in December, I'd say go for it if you currently don't have one or you currently have one that you purchased a while ago. It's a great supercar it normally costs almost $2 million and getting it for free off the podium is pretty awesome. So starting off with the property discounts, we have 40% off the motorcycle clubhouses as well as the upgrades and renovations for them as well. The clubhouse is needed to purchase the MC businesses so keep that in mind guys. Plus, the MC Clubhouse can store up to 10 motorcycles and gives you the quick spawn feature for them in the interaction menu, which I find very convenient. Moving on to the vehicle discounts, we have 40% off the Strider. Personally, I don't really find this bike very useful at all. The only thing that's pretty funny about it is that you can do stunts on it spinning around at an angle, but other than that, I feel it's way too expensive for what it is. Plus, you can't even change the wheels on it, which is very annoying. You're stuck with those stock wheels. Next up, we have 40% off the Rampant Rocket, another vehicle that's pretty useless in my opinion. It's not fast at all, even though it looks like it in the photo, but <laughs> trust me, it's not fast. Plus, when you hit something, you go flying off of it. The only reason <laughs> I still have mine is because it looks pretty cool in my opinion. Plus, you can store it in your MC Clubhouse, which is pretty nice. Moving along, we have 40% off the Shotaro. So this is one of the best bikes in the game around most tracks, and is one I recommend the most out of all the vehicles on sale this week. So make sure you guys get this one if you don't have it already. This is a very good price for this bike, that normally costs over $2 million, and getting it for this price is a very good deal. Next up, we have 40% off the BF Raptor. So this vehicle is in the sports car class, and honestly it's very useless in my opinion, with a driving experience that isn't very good, just spins out randomly when you're driving. Moving along, we have 40% off the Vindicator. So this is one of the bikes that has the Curs boost system. It's pretty quick at a straight line, especially in acceleration when you use that boost and wheelie, but it handles like absolute garbage in my opinion. I'd stay away from this one unless you want to use this bike for like drag racing or something like that. But other than that, it's not that great of a bike. And lastly for this website, we have 40% off the Electro. I'm sure everyone remembers this from the Pacific Standard Heist, whether good or bad. And this is again another bike that has the Curs Boost system, but honestly, even while on boost, it's still extremely slow. The Hakuchu Drag and Shotaro will still fly right past it even while the Electro is using its boost. Moving on to the Warstock website, we have 40% off the Manchester Scout. So this bike came out recently and it's a lot of fun to do crazy long wheelies with as well as customize. But other than that, it's not really that useful for much else. However, it's priced very cheap considering it's a newer vehicle. Moving on to Elita's Travels website, we have 40% off the Ultralight. Yeah, the Ultralight, out of all the aircrafts you could have gotten on sale. <laughs> but anyways, remember that you need to own a hangar in order to even purchase this one. If you're even going to try, I 
I think it's kind of useless. But anyways, that's it for vehicle discounts. I think Rockstar did very well in terms of quantity for this week with lots of normal vehicles on discount, but not really any weaponized vehicles, which I found very surprising. In terms of free items, you can get this Principe logo hoodie for free just for logging in this week, which is pretty cool. And all the bikers jackets are free this week as well if you want to go ahead and claim them all now before they go back to their normal prices. In terms of double money, we have double money NRP on the deadline adversary mode, which is by far my personal favorite adversary mode of the game. I love this one. Next up, we have double money NRP on bodyguard and associate salaries, which I guess helps if you have friends helping you in your MC or your CEO. And lastly, we have double money NRP on the motorcycle club work, MC challenges, and the MC club contracts as well. So to clarify, there is no double money on MC businesses. It is only for the three MC mission variants I just showed, which is honestly quite sad and kind of ruins the potential of this event week in my opinion. I see no reason why Rockstar skipped out on that, but I guess it is what it is. <laughs> Moving on to the Prime Gaming Discounts for Prime Gaming members only, I will leave instructions in the pinned comment on how to become a Prime Gaming member if you aren't one already. So we have the same ones as last week, which is 80% off the Sea Breeze, which is pretty cool. This plane can land on water and is useful for some missions if you don't have any of the other crazy vehicles in online. However, keep in mind that you need to own a hangar in order to purchase it. Next up, we have 35% off the Sparrow and the Avisa upgrades for the Kasaka Submarine, which is awesome. For those of you who kept your Kasaka on the cheaper side in terms of upgrades, you can now go back and add these in for a pretty good price. And lastly, for Prime Gaming, you will continue to get the Sonar Station upgrade for the Kasaka Submarine for free. Again, I, I feel like this one's not going to end, but <laughs> anyways, this upgrade normally costs 1.2 million. And getting it for free is pretty awesome. Also, don't forget, guys, just vlogging in this week as a Prime Gaming member, you'll get a free $200,000, which is pretty cool. Again, guys, if you don't see a discount on the Sea Breeze or the Kasako upgrades I mentioned, it's because you don't have your Prime Gaming account linked to your social club. Again, all the information on how to do that is down below in the pinned comment. And lastly, we have, of course, the RC Bandito Time Trial Cemetery. This week's normal time trial is Vinewood Hills. I highly recommend our the Hakachu Drag, Shotaro, Ray Batty 801 for that time trial. And this week's premium race is the muscle car race down the drain. I highly recommend our the Vapid Click, the Yosemite, the Hellfire, or the Pizwazer Dominator for this race. Every Friday I post a guide on how to easily beat the time trials and premium race, so stay tuned for that if you're new. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. Overall, this event week is pretty decent in terms of vehicle discounts, but in terms of double money, it's not very good with no businesses on double money, which I honestly find very surprising for this week. They could have easily put the biker business sell mission to double money, but they did not, which is pretty sad if I'm being honest. And we still do not have the Panther statue from the Galapagico heist. That still hasn't happened. Honestly, I think we can probably start to forget about it, pretend it doesn't even exist. I don't think Rockstar is ever going to do it at this point. It's been a few months already. And honestly, I think they probably would have done it by now. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.